Oh, there you are. I was ringing you last night. You trying to avoid me? I wasn't really in the mood for chit chat. Well, no, I was just wanting to see if you were all right. You've been up all night. Well, I went to bed. Didn't really sleep. Oh, you look terrible. Oh, thank you. No, I just nodded off when the twins woke up. I haven't really stopped since. So what time are you off, then? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I can leave Brenda in charge of the shop and the twins. It's not fair. Look, I told you. I can take the twins. TJ's at a party, sleeping over. I'm free. Free? Free for what? Viv sent him a visiting order. Oh, is that what that letter was? Why didn't you tell me? Because I needed time to think. Yeah, and convince himself it's bad news. I'm just being realistic. Why, why would it be bad news? She's refused to speak to me for the best part of a year. And now, out of the blue, I get the royal summons. I'm just expected to jump to attention. Yeah, because this is Viv we're talking about. Cleopatra to your Antony. Judy to your Richard. Oh, come on, Dad, you'll be all right. You haven't lost that much yet, I still love you. <laughs> I don't see why I should go in there and face up to whatever nuggets of doom she's going to sling my way. Oh. I'm better off not knowing. Did you come to bed? Slept in the spare room. Didn't want to wake you. Although the amount of red wine you put away last night, I'd have had to set fire to the bed. <laughs> I needed to relax. <laughs> well, you were very relaxed indeed. Hey, where are you going? In the town, I need a few things. Shopping? No, ram raiding. What do you think? I told you we ought to hold on to our cash at the moment. You can't have it both ways, Eric. You've made it perfectly clear we are not a team. So I am going into town to spend my money. Thank you very much. See you. Sort yourself out. You're being ridiculous. Am I? I know that woman more than I know myself, and I'm telling you, she is not inviting me in there for a cup of tea. Oh, uh, Dad, you're just being paranoid. She's obviously had plenty of time to think. She knows that she's done you wrong, and she'll want to make amends, I think. You're not going to know till you ask her, are you? No. So why don't you just get yourself in there, shut your mouth, and listen to what she's got to say? You're right, yeah, you're right. I have to go, don't I? <laughs> Hiya. You can't say no. Oh, she likes it, don't you? Yeah. You're going to be late, though, you. Ah, now we've got it down to the last split second, you see, haven't we, Shorty? What we do, we wait until they're shutting the doors and then a bunger in. Saves getting involved in any unnecessary chit chat. Daddy! I want my daddy. You can't see him at the moment. He's not very well, is he? Don't worry, I'll take you to see him soon, OK? <sighs> it's time he's back on planet Earth. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. Hold my hand. Right. Well, I'm sure David will be around later to discuss his cleaning equipment. Yeah, funny how none of his stuff was nicked, as we were sat round your place having dinner. Hey, I am a businessman, not a crook. Yeah, just give us the keys. Good morning, guys. How's it treating you? Well, better than normal. Morning. I'm looking for a mate of mine named Tank. Last reported living in this vicinity. No, sorry, Matt. Can't help you there. You sure you got the right place? Well, I wouldn't like to bet my wheels on it, but I reckon this is the right village. Tank Turner. Not the kind of man you're likely to forget. Oh, you mean Alan the Tank Turner? Don't tell me I've missed him and he's hit the open road again. No, 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 no. No chances of that. <laughs> uh, people need to get involved. Commit to decent family values. Where do you want this? Oh, that'll be fine. Not burglars you want to be worrying about. Your arteries putting away that little lot. Well, don't be bad then. Can't do any harm. 
Yeah, well, none of us are getting any younger. We all have to make some concessions to the ravages of time. If I want anything else, I'll ask. Thank you. If you spend half as much time searching for a job as you did mooning about over boys... Uh, not boys, Mum. A boy. Jamie set me up with that Alex we're meeting in the pub tonight. Oh, if he doesn't stand you up again. That was a medical emergency. So he says. <laughs> Love, I just want you to be happy, that's all. Ah! Something smells wonderful. I can tell just by looking at you that you know your way around a kitchen. All right, well, if you'd like to have a seat, I'll come and take your order. Menus are on the table. Oh, no need, my dear. I know exactly what I want. Full English breakfast. Double up on everything. But hold the tomatoes. Satan's own fruit. I can't abide them. Hiddy <laughs> Fox. As I live and breathe. Well, there he is. I've just been round to yours. Put a note through your door. What on earth are you doing here? Well, I told you I'd swing by one of these days. Oh, you've been saying that as long as I can remember. <laughs> We've only been open 24 hours. I'm sure it'll be fine, Doug. As first aid officer, I'm responsible for health and safety in this workplace. We work in a farm shop. What kind of medical emergency do you envisage, eh? Well, what would you do if somebody choked on a cheese sample? If I was riding about on the floor, mm -hmm. airway obstructed, Yeah. what's your first move? Um, I would check your pockets for cash. Have you ever heard of the Heimlich manoeuvre? What you do is, you get behind the victim... Mm. Okay, I'm going to take a lift. Speak, stop, stop it! Don't be stop being so ridiculous. This could save a life. Now turn round. Get off me! Whoa! I'm so sorry. Just going through a few safety procedures. Michael Conway, Conway's Refrigeration. Curtsy call. So here you're getting on with the new units. Do you know, I was just saying earlier how impressed I was. Mm. Beautiful engineering. Motors so quiet, you wouldn't even know they were on. Never mind the fridges. What do you like at the Himmler manoeuvre? Hmm? I've been running the Cider Rats rally for years. We had 4,000 bikers last Judgment Day. Just two arrests. Not bad. Only the young ones, they get a little out of hand. But I soon put them straight. I'm like a father to most of them. Did you ever have any kids? Well, as far as I know, I never stayed around anywhere long enough to find out. <laughs> what about you? You had a couple of nippers, didn't you? How are they getting along? Mind if we join you? Yes, please do. No, I see. You've kept quiet about this little lot, haven't you? <laughs> this is Eddie Fox, a oh, dear old friend of mine. Ah, pleased to meet you. Hello. Who's next? Ham and tomato and granary, please. Bit of mustard if you got it. Am I invisible or something? Sorry, I thought you'd been served. White coffee, no sugar, thanks. I'll get hers. No, I'll get my own. Only been waiting ten minutes. I'm sure, I can't make it up to you. Oh, look, I just want a hot drink to take away. I'm not here to make new friends or get chatted up. You think very highly of yourself, don't you? I'm just trying to chat you up. Forget it, Brenda. Places to go. I'll be with you in a minute. It's been one of those days today. Well, where's Bob? Can't he help? He's otherwise engaged this afternoon, so you'll have to put up with me. Mm. 